I say that because the main card here is the Queen of Wands. This could be someone that you're dealing with, but for the most part, this represents you. And you are in your element. You're very passionate. You're very self-starter this week. Very active too. And I think that you're spending a lot of time this week with friends, hanging out to the wee hours in the morning with the moon here. It's all about, again, connections with other people, having fun and celebrating. And there is no time limit on that. This could be just being very active, as I said, from morning to the night time, to the next morning. And I get that even more with the Three of Wands. This is a card of as time pass, and I'm essentially seeing time passing for you, and you again in this state of bliss, just very active with other people, and focus is definitely on social activities. Now some of you, yes, you might be contemplating a future here with the Three of Wands, and this could be where your connections are concerned. Maybe you are unsure about some of your connections with other people with the Moon as well. Maybe you've heard some information about a friend that makes you second guess them. Uh, for the most part, I just all I think it all ties into your social connections. All right, let's see the Queen of Wands. How is she this week? Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. You've got a lot of confident energy. You're a very independent person this week. Your energy is essentially on fire. You might have people reaching out to you, one person or several people. There could be money involved or this is an opportunity coming in that again has value to it. I feel like this is invitation. Someone saying, hey, you, let's go out here or there. Um, and you, again, taking a chance on all these opportunities because you have this independence, you have the money to spend on yourself and uh, any extra activities that you want to with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you might be getting, again, a bump up in pay this week as well, or just money that you can spend on yourself. And this might simply be what you're doing, like spa day or whatever you'd like to do to treat yourself. That is coming up. Three of chalices. The Empress. Social, social events, social connections are very strong this week. Again, I feel like this is feeling connected on a deep level with other people. And your friends are, for lack of a better phrase, satisfying your needs. You just feel at home with them. You feel comfortable with them. And it just feels like nice energy, happy times this week. Maybe your friends are doing something for you in particular that makes you feel, again, more blessed in some way. And you're just like, I'm so happy to have you guys in my life. And this could be baby showers. This could also be uh, any events as well surrounding your friends, but I think I feel like it's for you But if it's not for you, then it's someone else who might be doing some sort of baby shower type event And you're just a uh, part of it, but Let's see still again still a very content moment here We do have romance as well definite connection deep connections happening here because the moon is a deep card and it's really getting to know someone on that level getting to know the fears insecurities what goes on in the subconscious so you're connecting with someone and it could be very romantic whether you're in a relationship or not that relationship is deepening if it's brand new then that is also again deepening and your connection is growing stronger very romantic the only thing i'd be careful about in with the moon is that you know the light of the moon doesn't show all the how do I say it everything that's going on sometimes when you see things in the daylight then it's like you're looking at the truth of the matter you're seeing all the little things about the person and under the moonlight everything can appear like some sort of fantasy or daydream where you don't see the complete reality surrounding your love life so just be careful of that not getting sucked into that fantasy romance and disregarding what may be the um truths behind the curtain i don't know if i'm saying that in a very eloquent way but probably not regardless this is a very romantic combination to me, so I think this is a great week for you where love is concerned and friendships are concerned as well, and even money. So, and cards just want to fall out for you. I wasn't asking for anything yet. Now, five of chalices, so we got some a potential disappointment coming in. What's that tied to? Maybe you have to fight for something, defend the situation. 
uh, aggressively for a particular reason, something that you've lost that's been important to you is coming up this week. It could be minor, like losing a ring or losing something of value. And you're like, no, uh, it could be tied to work, losing something at work or something that you've worked hard on is no longer yours. You might have to fight for it. Maybe it's something you wanted to work on. They're like, yeah, we're not going to have you work on it anymore. You're like, why? What's going on? What, what the hell? Um, you're quite upset about it. But don't let that detract you from the beauty of everything else. So I think that's just a minor instance that's creeping up. All right, so let's look at the Three of Wands. I always keep forgetting someone else got this, the gift. So you're looking at the future, the unknown. And I think the gift is a beautiful card on its own. This is without me even remembering a damn thing what the book says about it. But I'm seeing it as, again, there's a future here that you're very excited about. And it could be that things feel like it's very much going in your favor, especially with all these nice pentacle cards up here. Money especially is working out very well. And in some ways you feel like you're just very fortunate. That's what I'm seeing. And just out of sheer curiosity, because I think this is the second time I got that card. Kind of want to see if I can find it. Here we go. All right, yeah, okay, so it's pretty much what I felt. It's like it's like th saying that things in the past may have felt murky and unclear. On some level, that can be the moon here, which is not a card of clarity. This could tie into relationships or a connection with another person where you're like uncertain, you're barely being able to see what's going on with the light of the moon. Meanwhile, this card provides that gift, which brings forth clarity and a situation comes in which is something very much to look forward to and there's a future here that for you looks bright and that you're anticipating so very nice combination and <laughs> either I just I do suck at overhand shuffling but another card dropped in we have the king of chalices this can be a partner this can be someone influencing the situation do we have another person we have the empress and the queen of wands I think both of these energies are you for the most part. This could be your partner and that could be a water sign or it could just be against someone who, despite the fact that they might be an emotional person, I think they have a lot of control over it, a lot of dominance over their emotions. So they might not be the easiest to get to reveal what they're thinking. But you see, you see some sort of future, positive future tied to this connection. So I like that. And I think that this is either a very close friend or uh, a romantic partner. One more card for what I need to know. I could have sworn I pulled this for you already. All right, two of wands. The week might leave you needing to make a choice, needing to figure out a plan. But for the most part, you're going to have no problem doing that because you are the queen of wands and she is great at not only making plans, but taking action on them. And I think you're going to see and find a new direction for yourself that, again, feels very positive to you and might feel like, you, again, you've hit some sort of stroke of luck with this gift card. You might not have any idea where it's really headed, but again, uh, positive energy surrounding it. And if you are if you have been confused or you feel like you've been confused about a relationship, that is going to come into clarity by the end of the week. Ace of Swords. Okay, a lot of swords. So this is the this is an internal mental week for you. And it may be focused on communication with another person or several people. There is a lack of clarity where communication is concerned because the moon is next to the Knight of Swords. So again, you're communicating with someone and it could be that the communication turns a little bit aggressive because uh, neither of you are understanding the other person's point of view. This person is looking to the left. This person is trying to move aggressively to the right. And I don't think at this time you're seeing eye to eye with someone. But that's going to be, for the most part, for the beginning of the week. By the end of the week, we do have the Ace of Swords. So if there is any miscommunication, which appears to be the case, clarity is going to come through by Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And you're going to have that revelation. You're going to have a much better understanding of another person, what they want to say, what they're trying to say, or them, you. So I do think a situation that may start out very unclear will quickly you know, 
reveal the answers and you and another person are going to have that understanding and there's going to be a peace as a result because this is the four of swords they're at rest and i feel like there might be like a lot of conversations that are happening throughout the beginning middle of the week a lot of back and forth trying to understand miscommunication might even uh turn a little bit disruptive you know it might be even argumentative at times just because you and another person are not understanding each other but at the end you got a break you have a rest here and i think it's because you finally get on the same page with someone all right so let me get my clarifying deck and let's look at the moon first what else can you tell me about the moon some of you might also not trust what someone has to say i pulled three cards okay so we have the eight of swords you're definitely anxious about how things are turning out we have the page of swords more communication and this is a mature communication again this this person communicates in such a way where they're just like blurting out words they're speaking carelessly not really putting thought into the conversation and may at times regret their words much after the fact especially with the eight of swords here it's like why did i say that why did this person say that there's a lot of questions and you're anxious about it you're hoping to resolve the issue and that things will become easier soon soon enough because it's stressing you out this fact that you can't seem to become to get on the same page with another person or even there might even be problems with feelings as if you can't understand your own feelings someone's trying to tell you theirs and that's that's part of the confusing energy that's coming up knight of swords let's get knight of swords We have the Emperor. This can be a person that you're communicating with, most likely a male, very dominant energy. They could be commanding, combative to a degree, and they might be aggressive because I get that with the Knight of Swords. So they're either coming after you or very strong with their words and are not backing down. This could be someone that you're dealing with. You could be having conversations about this person as well. We have justice here, so this might even be a legal battle that's happening between you and another person or involves a decision quite major because you have two majors there. You're trying to be clear. You're trying to resolve a dispute with another person as well. That could be management with the emperor. The Ace of Swords. All right, now we have the King of Wands. This could be your energy as a fire sign. This could be someone else that you're communicating with. It could be this disruptive communications happening with all sorts of people, but you do have two fire energies coming up. So it's most likely the person that you're dealing with. Uh, I do think, as I've said before, the Ace of Swords represents becoming clear, having a direction, and then aggressively pursuing it with the energy of the King of Wands. Once you're on the same page with another person, I think things really take off and the situation becomes much easier for you, especially with that Four of Swords. King of Wands and Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. So you have, again, this conflicting energy here and then the situation turns out in your favor and change happens rapidly, unexpectedly, and it's pretty much up to chance here. So I do think that as i've said things just become clear and it could feel like it's completely random because no matter what you try to communicate or someone else tries to communicate you guys again are arguing trying to resolve a situation and it's just not happening but by the end of the week it settles four of swords Five of Swords. So you don't actually trust the way a resolution has turned about, or you don't trust the resolution itself. Maybe you expect some other shit to go down before you can really rest easy. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here. This can be two players that are involved in this situation. Or you're also thinking about uh, how do you approach something from a practical view and uh, taking action, how to take action on what it is you're feeling, what your views are as well. This could involve money with the Knight of Pentacles. 
And there might be some element of you that feels impulsive, like taking uh, impulsive action in the background with the Five of Swords. And we got the moon again. So there is some secrets happening here. There is that lack of clarity, illusions. You don't trust the situation. You feel like things might either shift again, despite the fact that things have moved in your favor by the end of the week. I think you, on some level, you expect it to shift back into a place of confusion, not sure where it's headed. And you think there are lies and manipulative energies going in the background, possibly avoid of involving two people, or this can be what you hear from the grapevine that makes you suspect something else is going on. <laughs> 